Hello everybody, this is Neanderthal Gaming and welcome back to building with me. In this episode, I will be showing off a little thing I did off camera and I will take you there right now. So if you remember from the last two episodes, I was kind of, I, I kind of recorded the last two episodes together and kind of spliced them together weirdly so they were, they were like, you know, going back and forth between different things. Uh, I'm not sure if I got them in the right order or not, but uh, the last thing that should have happened was I was working on... Uh, the the launcher for the elytra and that is what I have on right now I have basically the bare essentials of what I was okay with uh, I, 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 I emptied my inventory because I was testing it basically so this is what I this is why I, I look like this um, got the elytra with the unbreaking and then I have my feather falling unbreaking protection boots so armor toughness what does armor toughness mean hmm. must be like durability or something like that uh, so anyway, as you can see here, uh, I'm going up to where the castle, the castle was. Um, basically, before the last few episodes, I had taken it down to its bare, its kind of struts. You know, the cobblestone struts. Uh, this is just the tunnel that was already here, always here, getting up to it. But as you can see, what's this? Cyan clay, you see, instead of cobblestone. This is still cobblestone, but I think I'm just probably going to keep that cobblestone. That's just this one way to get up here. And then I have some sea lanterns and then something that looks like it goes up there. You can't get up there, that's on purpose. But then if you come out here, what is this? This is the base of our launcher. And yes, there is an egg dispenser po constantly pumping out eggs into this lava pool. Um, so, I have made the launcher in our survival world and this is where I decided to make it on top of uh, the, the castle castle area that we had before. I thought it was the perfect place. I kind of wanted to make a huge cannon, you know? And so this is, this is uh, kind of off to the side of our base. Kind of takes a little bit, little bit of time to get up here. But other than that, um, I mean, it's pretty close. Uh, the, the way it's set up is I have these, these pillars. This is each, each one of these pillars was where the, the cobblestone struts went down. Uh, so I actually went down and replaced all of the cobblestone with the cyan clay. So it looks all uniform now. There's no cobblestone left other than right in there, which is fine. Uh, I used the sea lanterns for lighting because they look pretty good with the cyan uh, clay. And then I also have accents of quartz stairs and some andesite, some polished andesite. So there are eggs everywhere. And that is because we had a couple of chicken explosions where... I had like 200 some chickens in the cannon and or in the launcher and I did something and they all went everywhere so yeah um, yes I, I would have like 37 levels or something like that but I died once doing the doing the launch here before it was perfect so yeah there's that uh, this is the cannon up here lots of eggs still uh, so uh, once once we get launched, I'll show you a better view of it. But so there's these. This is how you get up. You come down here. You you take this the quartz stairs up, and then back here is just uh, access to the lever. That lever is the lever that uh, extends the piston. If I were to pull this lever right now, I'm pretty sure oh, there are eggs. There are eggs popping out everywhere. That's something I can't really uh, take care of is the the random eggs, but I can take care of most of the eggs. So this this if I pull this now, the chickens would explode everywhere. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, if you come around here to the side, actually to the front, we have our little cannon entrance here. Let me just kind of back up a little bit so you can see. There's kind of like the back, and then it kind of juts out here into kind of like a cannon shape. Um, and then in here we have not too much lag. I mean, obviously lag right when I look at it, but um, so if we if we look straight up over here, we have zero entities, and if we look right here, about as up as we can, we have about 300 entities. So this is about roughly 300 chickens. And as you can see, I have tons of eggs, and that's what these hoppers are for. These hoppers all are connected to a uh, dispenser, and those and that dispenser is hooked up to a simple redstone clock underneath here, um, and that just shoots them into the lava, so it takes care of them. Here's the dispenser, actually. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there's a bunch of the crap. Why is that full? Is that supposed to be, is that shooting stuff out still? 
Hold on a second. Did my... I, I just want to check my, um... Oh, crap. You know what? This is supposed to be a hopper. Uh, I will be right back. That is supposed to be a hopper, so I'll be right back. Okay, so that should be fixed now. Uh, this was supposed to be a hopper leading to this. All these hoppers lead to this hopper right here, and then that hopper leads down to the dispenser. So that should be better now. Uh, we should have less eggs popping up here. We still will get some, obviously, but if we can just watch this hopper, it fills with eggs pretty quickly because there's 300 chickens laying eggs randomly. And nothing happens. They're all going up. They're not supposed to be going up. How the heck do I even get up there? Oh well. You know what? I'm not going to worry about the eggs right now. So far they haven't caused the problem. Some of them launch out there, but most of them land here. At least from what I have seen before. Oh, there we go. I just messed it up. Okay. So, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that was a failed launch. Uh, that is why I'm only wearing a few things. I have died, like, right here. Because this is where, if you don't do the elytra, this is about where it launches you. Which is pretty cool, actually. Like, that's really far. Um, and that's how it looks from down here. Hello. I don't have a sword. <laughs> okay, time to go. Uh, oh, what the heck? Why didn't my wings work? Sometimes, seriously, sometimes they just don't work. I don't, I don't know if you have to, like, give them a certain amount of time before you deploy them or not. Because I... There are some cases where I can just I can just deploy them right away and they work, but sometimes they just don't work right away. So I don't know if you guys have any suggestions about that. Let me know because that would be very nice. I would probably die a little bit less. But anyway, that was uh, one of the failed launches uh, that happened every once in a while. But that was because I wasn't ready to press the the elytra wings yet. So let's just go over here and then get our speed boost. Run back through our tunnel. I've done this a few times, if you haven't noticed. Been lots of testing. And it did take me quite a bit of time to get all the eggs necessary for those chickens. I just turned our, our regular chicken farm into egg harvesting mode. This is working better now. Yeah, constant stream of eggs as it should be. Um... Yeah, once once I got like 100 or so chickens and that became another egg farm for me to use, so it basically became self-sufficient. Self so what you do is you line yourself up in the middle of this hopper, and you look straight up, and you jump, and then you press space. As you can see, I'm going up now. My Y reached about 224, and here's where we are. This high, and there it is from above. It looks pretty dang cool from above, I have to say so myself. Look at that. I'll, go, I'll do another loop around. I'll go, I'll go F1. Oops, I went a little too low. Let's see if I can make it up again. Nope. Okay. <laughs> we gotta we gotta climb back up again. Whoops. Eh, casualty. Oh crap, there's creepers. Okay, we're just gonna run. Oh man, these 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 wings are so awesome. I'm so happy they added them. Cause I just love, you know, just like jumping off of stuff. Just anyway, before the elytra even had a were a thing, but now you could just make it so much more spectacular. Alright, so let's try that again. Um I just kinda wanted to get a good look. And and I haven't really narrowed nailed it down to what height I always get to. Because it's not always the same. But if you get right in the middle here, look up. Oh, that time it didn't work. Go up. Oh, that wasn't... I I guess you can't do F3 while you're in F1, so that's okay. Um, but here it is. I'll try to view it again. Actually, let's just land on this tree here. How much health did I take? Oh, not much. So here it is from above. I think it's a pretty cool design. Maybe you want to do some, like right here, maybe you kind of want to do some continuation of that white pattern, because it kind of just cuts off there and these are pretty boring, but other than that, I think this is pretty pretty good design. Let's just quickly go over here. Oh, 
get another look at it. There it is, kind of more from the side. Oh man, this is a really cool picture actually. You can see our bridge there. That looks really good from here. All right, now let's see if we can make it to like that little area. Oh, easily. Oh, we, we can just go straight across. Look at that. This is where these went. Okay. Uh, I dropped some on accident, I think. I'm, I'm basically out of clay, too. Like, I don't... This this chest was up here from before. So was this one. Uh, this is kind of the chest I was using. Yeah, pretty much I'm down to, like, no clay. I, I think I have some more in my chest, but other than that... Let's just toss these. Who cares about these? Uh, one thing I was thinking about was maybe adding hoppers, like, here and here. Something like that. Uh, just so you can align yourself a little bit easier and then still catch the eggs. So let's just do it one more time. And let's do F3 right now. So, right now we are, we are at, what is our Y? 129. So let's see how high we can get. Two sixty. All right, that was one of the better ones. As you can see, we are way up now. Like I can look how high I, I've gotten. I'm not really sure how, but I've gotten up there before, like very easily. So I don't. I don't know. I don't know if there's like a certain technique to it or something. But I've been able to get up there like with ease, just from this launching. Look how high we are, just from that one, and that wasn't even a good one. All right, let's try it again. A little bit of damage. Oh, you know what? Oh, what the heck? Yeah, see that time it didn't work. I pressed space right after I launched like I always do, and it just doesn't work. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Whatever. That time it did. Let me go back up. <laughs> I just wanna I just wanna I just wanna show you. I wanna have one good one that I can show you that I get all the way up to that uh, highest point around our base. Cause I, I did it pretty consistently before our recording. I don't know what changed. I'm doing the same thing. I think I think it all depends on when I deploy the elytra. I think I'm trying I think you're supposed to do it as soon as you possibly can. So you don't waste any of your momentum like going up like the more momentum you get going straight up the the higher you get obviously so let's try this again see i don't know sometimes i jump like right there i just jumped twice and it didn't launch me so i don't, I don't really know like what the, what the heck is going on that time it worked yeah i get to about 260 and that's not even going to be close to getting up there so I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it's inconsistent, but no matter what, the result is pretty spectacular, I have to say. And I'm glad I have this in my world just to mess around with. That was a good one. Just kidding. 205. <laughs> that was a really bad one. See, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Okay. And sometimes you die <laughs> because you go, you're going too fast. That's one of the problems there. Uh, I really hope none of that fell in the lava, like fell through the building and into the lava. We will see though. Please no. <laughs> Please no. Look how tall this is getting too. I don't know if this is done or not, but oh, I think it is done because those aren't flowers anymore. Those are seeds now. So that, that's done, the course fruit. We're going to have to make a farm somewhere. I think that's what I'll do this episode, is designate an area for the farm. I don't want to do it in there because that's kind of hidden away. I mean, yes, it's kind of cool. You can see the wheat. The beetroots are actually growing. Um, but I want to do it maybe out, outside somewhere, maybe up up high. I don't know. I don't know yet. But that, I, th I think, is what we'll decide to do this episode. So let's go and see if our crap is up here. Oh no. Oh no. 
If that went in the hoppers, it's slowly being dispensed into the lava here. I need to block up quick. Okay. Um, crap, this is going to give us crap loads of chickens. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do. I need to find my stuff. Is it up here? I got my experience. Okay, it is up here. Boots, 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 boots. Where are my boots? Oh no. I just made these boots. Ah, oh, crap. What? What did I just take damage from? <laughs> Struggles of flying. Falling. <laughs> Crap. I, I probably shot them into the lava. Wouldn't be surprised. That is. Uh, that sucks so much. I, I spent a lot of levels and time on those boots. I do not see them. No. No. I mean, they could have shot off, but then that, that could be anywhere. Oh man, that sucks. All right, I'm gonna try. Oh, they're right there. Oh my god, yes. Holy crap. Okay, we got really lucky there. Now we need to we need to open this back up. Uh, give me my pick. Okay. Whew. That was that was a little scary. Um, these chickens will just have to live. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> that's why it's a little. That's why I put all most of my stuff away when I do the elytra, because it gets pretty, pretty scary sometimes. So I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna leave those there for now. Who cares? I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna try to get it correctly. That was it. That was a good one. 291. I don't know what I did differently, <laughs> but look how high I am now. I'm above this thing. Like, I would look straight down, but there, that's how high we are. Crazy. And here we are at the top of our world like that's where we came from we went whoop, flew down here so this is our base from way up above look at that and I think the cannon looks really cool from above kind of stands out with the whole cyan uh, cyan clay thing but I didn't want to do another stone brick building because we already have UFO as our centerpiece kind of and yeah our bridge is that and our house is that so yeah I, I'm okay I'm okay with how it looks uh, and then we have a really cool like drop right here so yeah I, there's nothing really up here to, to you know bring home but uh, there's some trees there's like some cool like lower areas that kind of go into holes like that pretty cool but other than that it's just a snowy field that you can't really build on well you could build on it but it's always gonna get snowed on top of which is annoying but yeah pretty cool so let's just uh, jump off of here now and let's dive bomb actually let's go update our maps go see what those look like dive bombing into water is actually kind of fun Make sure you miss the lily pads though, because <laughs> those will kill you. Uh, yeah, so that's what it looked like before. And now, oh, it's going to be two maps. Oh. Oh, it changed it to blue. Like it actually cyan. Oh, that looks really cool. 
Are you gonna update fully? Hold on, let me let me just uh, let me just run up there and see if those little gray specks will turn into cyan. Cause I didn't know that cyan cyan clay looks actually cyan on maps. It's kind of cool. So I'll be I'll be right back. Okay, never mind. I I didn't have to walk very far. I just had to take a little bit of time. So now you can see the the uh, the very edges are cyan now. Uh, something that's kind of funny actually. If you like, if you press F on the map, you can hold two maps at once. And for some reason, it puts it off way off to the side. It makes it kind of small. Kind of looks funny, but yeah. What does it look like? Fifth person. Fifth person. I say fifth person because I press F5. It's third person. Oh, you're just holding the map icon. Yeah. First person looks kind of funny though. All right. So which one? This one is top, this one is bottom. I guess you can't right click it. There we go. So that is our new building. That looks amazing. Amazing on here. So the quartz shows up as the same color as the sea land. Because that right there, that pixel, that pixel, and that pixel. I just zoomed in accidentally because I lost my speed boost. <laughs> so these, these single pixels, even the middle one, are are the sea lanterns and then the stripes long ones are the quartz and then this this side the quartz goes a little bit further because that's where the stairs are yeah that looks that looks really cool i think let me know what you guys think uh this is the new kind of centerpiece of our map it's pretty pretty eye-catching i think it looks kind of cool yeah i'm really happy with that so there is our cannon. It's kind of, you know, it's not too gaudy. You can't really see it from down here, but you can kind of see it peeking up above. So I really, I'm really happy with it. Um, so yeah, now let's, uh, let's update these guys too. So yeah, I guess it just takes a little bit. This one doesn't need it. This one, oh, they already updated. Okay. Our secret map room. All right, so let's uh, let's figure out a way. I mean, obviously we know how to harvest these things. Why? Why, Why sometimes and not other times? Oops, that was cool. Does that time work? It's fine, but the first time before that, it just doesn't work. Ugh, frustrating. Frustrating when it's not consistent. Oh well. Can't do anything about it. Okay. No more over there. No. So basically what we what we want for this farm is we want a way to get above the what are these called actually? The flowers. We want to get we need a way to get above the flowers, but then also a way to get below to catch all of this. And the best way I've seen to harvest these chorus fruits are are by um, washing it away with water after you've gone because you can't if you wash the whole the I don't want to call it a tree if you wash the whole plant away while it's still got the flowers on it the flowers don't drop so you have to actually get on top of them and knock all the flowers off uh, I also need all my my gear <laughs> so I'm gonna go grab that and I'll be right back all right so looking from above here, where is a good place? I was thinking possibly right here because we have a big flat area. Actually, this that's, that's a really good place, actually. Let's uh, let's just hop over here. God, it's so easy. Like that would have that would have taken me jumping down into the water, running across the docks, and then running up these stairs, but instead I just hop right over. So we have this big area for the, the fruit, the trees, the plants, whatever to grow. And then up here, you just kind of, you know, put a staircase up here, maybe. Hello, everybody. Did I hit you? I did hit you. Uh, you have, like, a staircase up here, maybe. And then, you know, like, paths in between the rows to harvest them. I think, I think this is where we want to do it. So, let's do an old-fashioned speed montage with some music in the background. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a long time actually. Uh, I'm going to speed do... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a farm here. A quick, a quick farm will decorate it later but I'm gonna make the, the basis of the farm and I will be back after... I'm not being back. You're gonna watch it and it's gonna be going fast so it'll be cool.
all right so here we are we are done as far as i am concerned for now i'm sure we'll make changes to it later like once i get more of these um end rods i'll probably add more of those around like these torches i mean this area is still completely open i didn't i didn't feel the need to extend it up here i mean i could but really um this this farm is is plenty big for our, our needs and our needs are just just for building blocks every once in a while like this block this block type let's be honest it's not the, the best looking uh it goes with the end theme but i mean we don't have any structures in the end really uh we do have one but it's already been built i mean we could add these but we don't go there very often so i think I think um, the farm size is, is fine. I'm happy with the overall design at the end. It's kind of just like, you know, an open open greenhouse type of thing. Uh, follows the end theme pretty well. I like it. I, I didn't add any automation either because uh, we, we're not going to use this enough. Like, And the stuff grows so ridiculously fast that I don't, we don't really need to... Um, Worry about it, I don't think. So basically, these these paths up here are just to, to reach the flowers. You knock the flowers off. And then you cross. Pretty basic. And once you're at the bottom, you just knock them all off. I I I, I uh, harvested a few times. Ooh, I'm not gonna get that one way up there. Wow, that's impressive. I've said a few times uh, off camera. Well, not off camera, really, but uh, during the the speed up portion portion portion. So yeah, you actually have to uh, break the flower block in order to get the flower to drop. You can't break it at the bottom. You can't break it at the bottom and get the flower block. You can only get the, the fruit from breaking at the bottom. And we won't get that one. And this is obviously not a hundred percent way to get stuff. Some some of the fruit are gonna land up here. I know that. So that's that's fine with me. I really don't care that much. Ah, that's a nice sound. go and pick them all up I could I could pretty easily add uh, some water just to like pick up all the items you know once I've harvested the, the flowers I could add some water streams I guess and maybe I'll do that maybe I won't I, I'm pretty sure I'll never use this again <laughs> unless I come up with some some design somewhere along the way and, and I might uh, that uses the purple blocks but look at that just from one harvest we got 40 of them and this only takes, I think, 15? Yeah, it only holds 15. So, and, th and they, are all, they weren't all fully grown either. Also got two and over two and a half stacks of, and look how fast they grow too. I, I also got over two and a half stacks of the fruit now. And I have some in here already, yeah, I do. So, I think that is going to be it for this episode. That, uh, that uh, part that I sped up actually lasted... I, I sped it up four times, and it lasted like 25 minutes. No, it was longer than that. It was like 40 minutes or something like that. Not 40 minutes. Uh, it was 40 minutes by itself, I think. And I think I... Oh, crap. I can't even remember. I ended up speeding it up 16 times, I believe. And it got it down to about 10 minutes, so... Yeah, so 10 minutes times 16, 160 minutes. So it was about two hours, a little over two hours of, of work that was condensed there. I'll just leave all that like that. We can actually do this. They kind of look like cookies. And actually, I want to demonstrate how they work too. the fruit themselves when you eat them they teleport you to a random spot nearby
there I was there and now I'm over here that's it <laughs> nothing too interesting uh, some people have experimented them like canceling fall damage but we get these bad boys uh, we don't really need to worry about fall damage anymore so I think that will be it for this episode thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye